use my decorated sugar cookies for gifting or selling. Be sure to check your state's cottage food laws if you're a home baker and you're unlicensed to make sure you have the correct labeling on your cookies and just to check any other requirements for selling cookies from your home. I'm going to start with how I package the cookies individually. Here I have my heat sealer from Amazon. I like to keep it between the settings of 5 and 6. I feel like that creates a pretty good sturdy seal on the bags. And I like to wear a glove for this process because if not, I tend to get greasy, buttery fingerprints from the cookies on the bags, which is pretty unattractive. So whichever hand you pick up the cookie, I would put a glove on that hand it in the bag and make it nice and even. And this heat sealer is so easy to use and it's amazing. It's, it heats and seals as soon as I plug it in so you just leave it on there until the red light goes off. I like to buy these bags that have the self sealer also. That way I think it makes a really nice neat look to fold that part of the bag over the cookie. So for one to one and a half dozen cookies, depending on the size, I use a nine by nine inch box. And for two dozen to two and a half, depending on the size of course, I use a 10 by 10 box. Then for some cushioning and to make it look nice, I usually use a combination of matching tissue paper that matches some colors on the cookies and also some crinkle paper. For this 10 by 10 box, I can fit nine on a row. It's okay to stack them. I like to put some crinkle paper and tissue paper in between each layer just to be safe. Especially if you're going to ship them, then I definitely put more crinkle paper. You don't want the cookies to be able to move at all if you're going to ship them. If you're just handing them to somebody and they're going to take them home, then you don't need that much to keep the cookies from moving. So there's that. And then I like to tie a pretty ribbon on the box and I'll show you how I do that. So I don't cut a certain amount off because I never know how much I'm going to use. But I like to do the ribbon around the corners of the box rather than right in the middle so that you can still see the cookies through the window on the top. And it certainly is pretty enough just to make one little pretty bow and cut the strings. but. When the box is a little bit bigger, like the 10 inch box, I like to add another layer. Then I like to add a little sticker that says thank you and that these cookies were made with love, especially for you. Some people might want to put their logo sticker there. And then any other necessary labeling to abide by your cottage food laws. Now if I'm going to ship these, which I did ship these cookies as a gift, you want to make sure that you really pack a lot of packaging paper or bubble wrap, whatever it takes to make sure that the box of cookies and the cookies don't move at all. Make sure at the post office you ask them to put a fragile and perishable sticker on the box. But if I just think of the box at the post office.